Hi, this is Jason Toll with NAI RealVest. Thank you for watching the Toll Land Vlog. Today we're talking with Tara Tedro of the Lowndes Law Firm. We're talking about land use issues that affect long-term landowners. This is part two of a four-part conversation. Uh, now we're talking about uh, amending the comp plan. And uh, let's have Tara take it away from here. Hey, Matt, I wanna bring up a hypothetical uh, scenario. Uh, my partner, Jamie Eads, and I are working with landowners in Lake County. The majority of these landowners are owners of rural rural land, and they're long-term landowners, mostly 20 years plus. Uh, one of our goals is to position uh, our client's property uh, for a sale to a national home builder. And in order for that to happen, oftentimes it is beneficial to the owner to take their property through the comp plan amendment, the comp, comp plan amendment, so that it is prepared for the proper zoning. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about how, that process? How do we change the designation of the, the future land use from rural mm -hmm. to something that's uh, more accommodating to uh, to uh, home development? The first step on any piece of property, Jason, is to decide and determine what entitlements you actually need. What do you have by right today? Meaning what is your future land use map amendment or map designation and what is your zoning designation? And what might you want to change it to to get the highest and best or the intended use mm -hmm. of the piece of property? I always recommend that folks talk to a local government planning and zoning staff. Have a pre-application meeting. See if you can sit down with them and talk about what the application requirements are and what the process timeline is going to be if you do want to change any of your land use entitlements. You also might figure out that you need other types of discretionary approvals from a local government, perhaps a waiver or a variance from code requirements, a special exception or conditional use to do something that isn't permitted outright under a zoning designation. So all of that should be determined on the front end. Something I'm sure that you can understand the importance of are the timelines that you put in your LOI or your contract. Due diligence periods are often not enough time to figure out your land use entitlements or to secure them. So you want to understand very early on just how long it's going to take to get through that approval process. If in fact you're doing a comp plan amendment and a concurrent rezoning and how long it's going to take you to get to that final hearing before a board of county commissioners or a city council and then add in 30 days for an appeal period after that. Mm -hmm. So that anytime you go hard on money, I always recommend to go hard after you have the expiration of a then applicable appeal period on any entitlements that you're seeking. It sounds like having a skilled land use attorney on your team would be highly beneficial. Yes, it would be. Absolutely. <laughs> Shameless plug. Uh, no, well, listen, uh, <laughs> why you deserve that? Um, it's because you are very good. I've had the pleasure of working with you in the past and uh, you did very well. Uh, I was very, very pleased uh, with the outcome. Uh, we, we reached all of our goals. Good.